I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, but I mentioned that I've been testing a new keyword research tool. And finally, the tool has been released and I've finished reviewing it and I love it. And I thought we'd take a look at it today. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. Today's video we're going to take a look at a new keyword research tool called keywordchef.com. Now this is an awesome tool and I can tell you a few reasons why. This tool has been designed by a friend of mine, a blogger, somebody like you and I who's in the trenches, who's looking to build websites. Now this tool was born out of the frustration from trying to find decent low competition keywords that were relevant to his search term. We've all done it, you type a search term or a keyword into Google and it comes up with a ton of irrelevant results. Things like e-commerce sites showing up in the SERP index, Amazon showing up in the SERP index, even the videos showing up in the SERP index. And that's not good when you try to find some low competition keywords. The results are more relevant to us. And that's why I love this tool because it's been built with us in mind. Some plugins and tools like Ahrefs and Uber Suggest are just packed with tons of features that are really irrelevant for us. If you're just looking for some really relevant search terms for a particular keyword or a topic, this is an amazing tool for that. Now I've been testing this for a while now. I was lucky enough to be one of the first people to actually get access to this tool. I did mention it about a month or two ago in one of my videos and you've all been asking me, when's it coming out? Well, it's finally launched and it's here for you to test. Now the great news is there is a free plan on here so you can get access to it and test it today. I will leave a link in the description below. I'm not an affiliate for this product whatsoever, but I just wanted to share it with you guys because if you're a beginner or somebody new to blogging, this tool is really gonna help you. I'm a big advocate of learning how to do keyword research yourself manually, but if you're beginning or you're just starting to build your first blog, then this can really help. Now, like I said, there is a free plan. It is a paid tool going forward. So if you're doing a lot of keyword research, then you might need one of the paid plans. But like I say, you can use the free plan. You can get a thousand search results, which is quite a lot of search results if you're careful with the process and how you do it. We'll head over to the computer in a second. I'll show you some little tips on how you can save your credit so it doesn't cost you too much. 1,000 free credits is actually going to get you a lot of results and it might even be enough to actually build your first website on just using this tool. So let's head over to the computer now and take a closer look at keywordchef.com. Okay, so here we are at keywordchef.com. You can see that the homepage is very clean and simple. And as it suggests here, it cuts out all the meaningless keywords and all the junk keywords and all the inaccurate data that you usually get from a lot of these tools. This is aimed at bloggers like you and I, and you can see here, it uses real-time SERP analysis. So it easily finds which keywords have forums and other generated user content, which is perfect for low competition. So what that means is these are actual search terms that people have typed into Google or forums or other platforms like that. So these are genuine search results. So like I say, you can click try for free here, fill out your details. You will then be asked to confirm your email address. When you do that, you will get access to login. Now I've already done that, so I'm just gonna click login. Okay, so here we are. So when you've done that, you will receive a thousand credits. Now I've logged in earlier, just have a, another play around with this. You can see I've used a couple of credits, but you will receive a thousand credits. Now, if you click buy more, you can see the pricing structure here. Uh, $20 for 1,200 credits, $100 for 10,000 credits, and so on. Now, it seems like quite an expensive tool when you first see that. However, if you can imagine getting 1,200 really relevant keywords and search terms for your niche or your blog for $20, you would jump at that, right? If you use this tool really carefully and use the tips that I'm going to suggest in a second, then you will find that 1,200 credits will actually do you. For most people's got one or two websites, 1200 topics to write about, that's 1200 potential articles is certainly enough for most people. So let's go to discover at the top here. And before we do that, I'm just gonna click this search tips. Now this shows you some little helpful tips to, so you don't spend too many credits. So the first one it's saying is broad searches. So obviously if you typed in the word cookie, you're gonna get thousands of search results and you're gonna eat into your credits really quickly. It tells you then obviously to narrow that search down just like you would do with any keyword tool or any manual keyword research that you do. You need to narrow down to find them long tail keywords. 
It also suggests here that you can use these wildcard searches. So, for instance, if you type uh, best pizza in and the little star or little asterisk there, it will give you locations. So best pizza in Chicago, for instance. And then if you typed it here, best stove and the asterisk, it would give you product related searches. So best stove to use outdoors, best stove for small apartments, etc. It also tells you then you can use negative words so you can tell it not to pull back any keywords that you're already targeting. So let's say you've done a big silo plan all around cooking bacon, then you can type cooking and the little minus bacon. And it will bring you lots of search results around cooking, but none of them will have the keyword bacon in the results. And then the other one it tells you is to avoid these ambiguous words like apple. Apple could mean fruit or technology. So you would need to be a little bit more specific. So let's have a go actually finding some of these. Now, I've recently bought a website around fishing. So obviously if I typed the word fishing in here and type search, we're gonna get thousands and thousands of search results. So I'm gonna narrow it down to a topic or a sub niche that I'm looking to find keywords for. And one of those I could be looking to find keywords for, let's say might be ice fishing. So if you click search, so as you can see here, it's brought 1151 search results, 342 are question based. So you can see some examples here. Um, where can you go ice fishing in Colorado? What do I need to bring to ice fishing? Then you've got the best results, so best ice fishing gear, best ice fishing apps for iPhone. Then you've got compare, so uh, white ice versus clear ice fishing. That's obviously you know a really good search term there. And then you've got how to's, so how to make an ice fishing leaders, how to build an ice fishing shack. You see, these are all really, really relevant search terms. Then it gives you some here, some most popular, most expensive, most versatile and it gives you some alternative ideas here. So uh, cool ice fishing ideas, gift ideas, meal ideas, etc. Now you can see at the moment we've not used any of our credits, so don't worry, you've not used 1151 credits. We're still just playing around with it. Only at the point where you click get keywords does it eat into your credits. So let's say you're wanting to write a lot of blog posts around best. So let's say you're focusing on uh, products. We could get rid of all these and it will simply give us 411 best keywords. So if we run this tool here, like I said, don't forget, as soon as you click this, you will lose the credit. So we're gonna use 411 credits right now. So if I click that, you can see a fantastic result here. So look at all these. So on the left-hand side are your keywords. So we've got best fish finder for ice fishing, um, best snowmobile for ice fishing, and you can see it's giving you the average search results here. So best ice fishing boots gets an average of a thousand searches a month, but at its highest peak, it got 4,400. And at the lowest, so maybe out of season, it only got 90. Now, the best thing about this, then you can search and find the keywords that you want, and then you can narrow them down into a CSV file. So it basically prints it off to you so you can then tick that off as you write the articles or you can send it to a content creator. Okay, so I think one of the best features on this is this little tool here. You see these magnifying glass? What this does, it pulls you the live active results from within the SERP index. So you can see here, best fish finder for ice fishing. If you click the magnifying glass, you can see it then pulls you the top results. So we can see here that more fishing tips has the number one slot. Best ice fishing finder here from Fish Finder Brands is also in the search result. So you can see the competition you're going after. And like I said, these are all relevant blogs. So these are people you will be competing with if you're going after this search term here. You can then obviously right click and you can open that in a new tab and you can go over and check their content out. So it's a really quick and simple way to see if you're going to be able to compete with these websites. Another function is obviously to copy the keyword to your clipboard and then also to head straight over and actually see the results in Google. Now, when you click this, you will head off the website. So I often use this function at the side here to check them out. So I just simply right click it, open it up and let's go have a look at that article. There we go. As you can see, it's really, really relevant for your results. And as you can see, there's absolutely hundreds of results here, but they are all relative and for you. So you can see they all have search results. There will be some zero search results at the bottom, but predominantly 
they all have search results, they're all getting traffic because it's using real SERP analysis. So it's using searches that people have actually done in a recent time period. So now another tool is if you click my reports, that result is in your reports section here. So every time you do a search where it's actually cost you credits, it drops it into this my reports here. And at any point you can click that and you can get them results back up and it's not cost you any credits. So if you run several different searches, you can end up with several different reports in here. But like I say, you're only paying for those search results once. You can then add a little project here. So if you want to add a project all around, let's say you have several websites, you can add a project for each website. So all the results will go into that one folder. Then you can come back to them at any time and check your search results, get some ideas and head off and write some great content. So if we do one more search, let's have a look. So I'm going to narrow it, really, really narrow it down now. Let's have say deep sea fishing boats. Let's have a look what that comes up with. Okay, so it's come up with 10 results. It's come up with seven questions, two best products and one more. So let's say I just want to do the questions. So I'm going to get seven relevant questions. Click get keywords. And you can see at the top, we've just used seven credits. And we've got some search results here. So how much does a deep sea fishing boat cost? Gets 30 searches a month, 50 at the highest. And if we look at the search results, we can see the websites that's actually ranking for it now, which is great. And then you can see there's some other ones. What are the best deep sea fishing boats? Do deep sea fishing boats have bathrooms? <laughs> there's a great one. Um, so you can see if we head up to reports, it's now dropped that into the reports there. So we've used the seven credits, but we've got those keywords forever. So I think you will agree it's a fantastic tool. Um, look at all these results here. So another great function is you can narrow this search down. So let's say these search terms are a little bit too high. You just want search terms under, let's say, 100 searches a month. You can simply click the ones that you want. Let's say you just want these uh, here. And then you go to your export to CSV, click the little arrow and copy the selected ones. So this will now download into a CSV file, but it will only do the ones that I have clicked. Like I said, this program is very simple. It's one of the key things I love about this. It's just bringing really simplicity to finding keywords. So there you go. I suggest you play around with it. Have a go. Use a free trial. Use your thousand credits. You may be able to build a really nice spreadsheet full of really relevant low competition keywords just from your thousand credits. So it's certainly worth giving it a try. Comment down below, please let me know if you enjoy the tool, if you're using it. Like I say, I'm loving it at the minute. Uh, it's a great way to find some keywords, it's particularly in topics that you might not know anything about or are new to. It gives you some great suggestions and you can start from there. So there we go. As you can see, it's a really useful tool. So the biggest thing for me is that it cuts out all that fluff and all that noise. You don't have to drill down through tons and tons of reports to find some simple low competition keywords that are relevant for your topic. And I think that's the best thing about the tool. My feedback to the gentleman who made this tool was keep it simple. I think, like I say, there's too many features, too many functions in some of these other paid tools, and most of us will never use them. We just want to put in a single keyword or a relevant topic, and we want some keywords that we can go after. That's all we want to do, and I want to get them results quick. And this is what this keyword research tool will do for you. So I hope you like that. Like I say, check out the free plan. Have a go. Let me know in the comments what you think. I am trying to get a deal or a giveaway or a discount voucher or something together for you guys. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I can bring you another video out. And hopefully we might be able to give away a subscription to this. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.